Any further supplementaries? Then question number seven, the Honourable Tony Ryle. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This question is to the Minister of Health. Has he seen today's media reports of further serious failures in the health system, including Auckland cancer patients waiting 12 weeks for radiation therapy, rising deficits at another district health board, and a man's tragic death after being left alone by staff at Christchurch Hospital's emergency department? And what action has he taken to deal with the crisis in the country's hospitals? Uh, the Honourable Steve Chadwick. On behalf of the Minister, yes. And like all New Zealanders, our thoughts are with the family of the man who died in Christchurch. It's important that hospitals undertake thorough clinical case reviews following any such tragic event, and I'll be making sure that that happens. I wouldn't use one tragic case to suggest that there is crisis in our entire health service. Supplementary question, the Honourable Tony Rowell. Is it not yet another sign of crisis in the public health system when an Auckland woman has been told by her specialist that she will now have to wait 15 weeks, Minister, 15 weeks to begin her radiation treatment when the Ministry of Health says the best practice is such treatment should begin within four weeks? Madam Speaker. The Honourable Steve Chadwick. I don't believe it's appropriate to raise individual cases in the House when all the facts of this case, Madam Speaker, aren't clear. I understand that the husband of that patient contacted the Minister's office several times yesterday and the situation has been resolved. However, if you have more information on the case and you want to pass it on, I'm very happy to ensure that it will be followed up. Supplementary question. Uh, Louisa Wall. Makoto Katoa. Supplementary to the Minister. Has the Minister seen any reports suggesting that New Zealand's access to world class health facilities has improved under the current Labour led government? Madam Speaker. The Honourable Steve Chadwick. Yes, this government has built seven new hospitals, completed ma eight major upgrades, built ten new specialist facilities. We've got three hospital redevelopments almost complete and five more underway. This Labour led government is committed to public investment in health care, not creating profit making opportunities for the National Party's big business backers. Supplementary question, the Honourable Tariana Turia. Order! Order! I've called the Honourable Tariana Turia. Order! Thank you, Madam Speaker. Tina Tato Katoa. Has the Minister seen the comments of Dr Juliet Rumble Smith that suggest Māori may not be receiving the same quality of hospital care as non Māori? And what will the minister be doing to address this crisis, apart from building new hospitals? Madam Speaker, the Honourable Steve Chair. No, I haven't seen uh, that, those comments, but I, I will analyse those comments and quite happy to report back accordingly. Supplementary question, Tariana. Sorry, is this a further supplementary? Sorry, I'll take um, the. No, it's fine. The Honourable Tariana Turia. Madam Speaker. To the minister, has the minister seen the study which shows that even though there is a great prevalence of cardiac disease in Māori, paradoxically, they do not receive the same level of cardiac interventions as European patients, and that similarly Māori with chronic diseases may not receive the same medical management as non-Māori? And what could be the reason for such discrepancy in health status between Māori and non-Māori? Uh, Madam Speaker, Steve I am aware of those inequalities, and I believe it is about access to primary health services. And we've invested heavily in making sure that it is much cheaper to go to the GP and then to get on a clinical pathway. Supplementary question, the Honourable Tony Ryle. Uh, why are women in Auckland being told that radiation treatment delays are now between 12 and 15 weeks when the government says they should be four weeks? Why is that? Madam the Speaker. Honourable Ch Steve Chadwick. I'm aware that there's pressure on radi radiotherapy oh, treatment. 
but it's caused by a number of factors, including higher than normal demand, unexpected breakdowns in linear accelerators, and the resignation of some staff to go and work in the private sector. However, it is very important to note that Auckland DHB has achieved 97 per cent of their cancer treatment target in the year to June, 97 per cent. Supplementary question, question. the Honourable Tony Rao. Has the state of the health system in New Zealand come to this? When a woman who's told by her specialist that her treatment will take 15 weeks to arrive, the husband has to ring the Minister of Health's office to plead for care. The Honourable Steve Chadwick. I've already answered that question. That, that, que that case has been resolved. But I'm also advised from Auckland DHB that they're looking at a variety of options to ensure that patients do get their treatment they need, including transfers to other treatment centres. I'm, I'm getting there, Mr. Ryle, just and the urgent recruitment of additional radiologists. Supplementary question, the Honourable Tony Ryle. So is the minister saying that this government has spent millions and millions of dollars building new hospitals, doubled the health budget, apparently invested in the health workforce, and the husbands of women facing 15-week delays for radiation treatment have to ring the Minister of Health's office to plead for treatment. What a shameful, shameful state of affairs in health in New Zealand today. The Honourable Steve Chadwick. Madam Speaker, unduly dramatic, really, isn't it? We have already answered the question that Auckland did. Just... Order. Order. Madam Speaker, Auckland DHB are actively pursuing alternative treatment options to ensure that waiting times are down for access to radiotherapy and have reached their target of 97 per cent. 